right now, Professor Tom, because you're going to go mano a mano with Curtain Jerk Chris. Now. All right. So uh, let's get this one going. All right. Now, remember, Professor Tom, you need this one to stay alive in the block and really keep things competitive because the Curtain Jerks, the both of them, sit atop. And your question is, and boy, do I love this question. And uh, Professor Tom, you get to answer first. Which current New Japan Pro Wrestling Tag Team Division wrestler, so which single wrestler in a tag team in the division, is poised to become the company's next big star? All right. So there are a couple of interesting answers that we could go with here. Um, There was one who I really wanted to go with. I wanted to talk about Sho. But the fact is, with Yo out, Sho is already... Uh, being positioned as a singles wrestler. He went for the Never Openweight Championship on uh, the most recent Supercard. So I think the answer here, uh, and this is going along with some booking that they've done recently, is Bushi of LIJ. So I think the most interesting way that they booked this recently is, spoiler alert here, um, when uh, Evil won uh, won the double championship, he did so with the help of Dick Togo wearing a Bushi mask. And I think that that has been such an insult to Bushi's honor and that Bushi has been such a supporting character with the LIJ over the past few years that it's now time and they've been signaling that it's time for Bushi to come out and to do some work on his own. Now he's had his singles matches. He's performed ably in the ring. I think he's shown that he has the capability to do it. And now I think he has a grudge with the Bullet Club, knowing that Dick Togo used his mask to assault uh, Naito and to lead to that uh, the end of his double championship reign. I think he's well positioned to go after the Bullet Club and to become a star in his own right. Okay, Kernjer, Chris. I think the answer here uh, is one that Tom actually sort of mentioned here, but I think absolutely counts here because he's still one half of the junior tag team champions. The answer is show. Um, uh, show is absolutely a star. He has intensity, great ring work, not even just his matches with Shingo, but his matches with, um, you know, with El Fantasmo at the end of last year were really spectacular when he was challenging for a singles title. Uh, I think he's going to be someone who's a real a real star going forward for them. Um, I, I don't know if you know this, um, but Yo is actually Japanese for Janetti. Um, <laughs> and he's, he's, I mean, he's done. I mean, Yo is at that same level where he's just, he's a nice tag team wrestler, but everyone clearly is excited to watch, uh, to watch Sho wrestle. And I think part of it is that he's part of a great stable to help bring him up, right? I mean, he's got... Uh, He's got Tomohiro Ishii, this little man sitting here right with me on his side. And I, I just really want to watch Sho and Ishii wrestle like main event uh, tag, him and we'll end with Okada, have main event tag matches against the other LIJ guys, against Suzuki Goon. I think he's going to be someone who uh, is a real, real breakout star over the next six months. Yo is Japanese for Janetti. That's savage. That's savage. Professor Tom, why is Bushi the better position player right now than Sho? I think Bushi's in a better position to break out as a single star because he's not the obvious choice. Oh. I think that I think that Sho obviously yeah, he's absolutely the Shawn Michaels of that stable. He's absolutely the Bret Hart of uh, of Romangi 3K. Um, but I think that they've already been positioning him to do that. Uh, the fact that they pushed him toward the never open weight championship and did not pull the trigger most recently, once again, spoiler alerts, I apologize. Uh, I think that that shows that, uh, the, the administration doesn't really have the faith in him to carry things on his own. I think they may be waiting to see how Yo's injury turns out. And it's entirely possible that when Yo comes back, Show is just going to be stuck back in the tag division because what else are they going to do with uh, with Yo? I think Bushi is in a position to uh, be truly great solo. All right, 
Current Jerry Chris, one minute. Take it away. Well, first of all, to, to counter a point Tom made, uh, he got a win, a clean singles win, show did, over Shingo, who's the man who won the most matches in 2019. That's a giant, giant win that he got in the tournament. Uh, I know it blew up someone's bracket. Mine. In the New Japan Cup. Yeah. Um, so I think that was a huge win. Bushi hasn't gotten any relevant wins uh, over the last year, although he did get to beat Sho, which should show you how far down on the list Sho is. Uh, Sho, yo is. Um, <laughs> here's the other thing. Here's the other thing about Bushi is that I just, I think his time has passed. I think there was a time where people thought Bushi was kind of interesting, but he spent the last two years basically being the t-shirt model for LIJ and the job guy. You know, I mean, I think he's someone who's a nice piece of the team, um, but I just don't see them looking at him as a single star. I think he's way down the list of potential contenders for the junior title. Um, I just don't see them having much faith in him at all. I mean, this is a guy, he lost to Yoshihashi. Oh, you're going to stop there? Okay. Yeah, I don't need to say any more. Uh, so I know who won, but it hurts because I have to tell a very dear friend that he lost. But I'm sorry, Professor Tom. Current Jerk Chris just decided to come with full brutality and full meanness. And Yo is the Marty Janetti. <laughs> and Bushi is just modeling. <laughs> well played, Kurt and Jerk Chris. That's one of the most savage arguments we've seen on this game show. And you move one victory away from taking the whole block. <laughs>